President Obama is in Florida today to announce billions of dollars for high-speed rails. Brian Weiss has more on the story. He's live out of our D.C. Bureau. Brian, what can you add to us? Hi, Lori. Well, the president is on the ground right now in the Sunshine State. In just a few moments, he'll speak in Tampa, where he's going to announce $8 billion in Recovery Act funds for those high-speed trains. Now, in total, 13 rail lines in 31 different states will land cash for that train technology. And the president will lay out why he thinks the investment's going to help get the economy chugging along, get some more jobs going. And the biggest winner here is going to be California, which is going to get more than $2 billion to begin work on a train that stretches all the way from San Francisco down to San Diego and Florida and Illinois also going to get more than a billion dollars a piece in cash to help kickstart those passenger trains. Now yesterday the president said that he can't accept second place but really the U.S. isn't close to being a leader in this technology. Europe and Japan of course have those bullet trains and China plans to spend more than 300 billion dollars on high-speed rail by 2020. So passenger trains really still have an uphill climb here in the U.S. Brian, will any U.S. companies in particular benefit from this kind of investment? Yeah, one possible U.S. winner here is General Electric. GE, it's the biggest maker of freight locomotives, and it says it's currently developing engines for those high-speed passenger trains. But the government here admits, really, a lot of this equipment is going to come from outside of the United States, where a lot of this technology is already in use. French-based Alstom SA and Canada's Bombardier, they're the makers of, of Acela's high-speed trains, which are in use already, of course, here in the United States. Those could be potential winners as well, Lori. Brian Weiss live in Washington. Thanks for that. Now